started surfing and skating when I was about four and a half, five. It's something I've always loved. A fun sport, really, really fun sport. And um, skated pro, that's actually how I got hurt. I'd like to think that the chair is just a temporary portion of my life, you know, and that one day things might be better. I've lived through uh, three generations of Huntington, some. Um, my late mother-in-law, my husband, the father of my children, and then um, my daughter, my baby, the youngest one. That's my baby right there. She wanted to be a, a kindergarten teacher. She loved children, and she wanted to be a teacher. I know I'm going to see my, my son and my daughter's plot here and their stone. I know I'm going to see that. How's my little guy? No one should have to live through what my children are living through. It's always a pleasure to welcome uh, groups to the center. It's a fabulous building. It's not just a fabulous building, I think, because it looks good and it works well, but really because of the people in it. I think a lot of us studying biology do so because we're interested in the biology. How does a cell work? We've never been able to create a human cell. We've never been able to create a cardiomyocyte, a heart cell. We've never been able to create an islet cell for a pancreas to repair juvenile diabetes. For the first time, we see an opportunity through our research to actually affect patients. The ability to make every cell type in the human body for the first time in human history, it's an absolute game changer for medicine. We use neural stem cells to try and explore whether we might be able to use these as a way to treat Alzheimer's disease. We're looking into retinal regeneration as a way of treating people with retinal problems. As someone with MS since 1976, I think that the idea of what's going to happen with stem cell research could be phenomenally successful. I know for my research group and everybody here in our lifetime, we, we want to make a difference in this disease. UC Irvine is, is really at the forefront of translational medicine. We have work that has resulted in the sponsorship of three separate clinical trials, at least for neurological disease and injury. You've probably heard about the research on spinal cord injury that's come out of here, work by our colleague Hans Kirstad for acute spinal cord injury. Our treatment was recently approved for clinical testing by the FDA, and it ends up being the first human embryonic stem cell-based clinical trial in the world. But more recently, one of our colleagues, um, Eileen Anderson, together with another colleague, Brian uh, Cummings, developed a treatment for chronic spinal cord injury. Some of the work from my lab for spinal cord injury now is in clinical trial, and we're really excited about that. You see perhaps a rat or a mouse walk again with the treatment that you've developed. It's, it's extraordinarily empowering. But I can tell you without a doubt that pales to the feeling of seeing a human treated with these things. It's, it's why we're here. It's, it's why we get up every morning. It's wonderful to see. I mean, it's pretty widely accepted at this point. You know, stem cells are you know, the building blocks of life. You know, with them you can, you can create, you can, you can heal, you can modify just by anything you want. The other thing we're doing is to use stem cells for transplantation to see if we can protect the brain of an individual with Huntington's disease from either developing the disease in the first place or slowing the progression. Here's our head researcher at UCI, Leslie. The researchers at the UCI Stem Cell Research Center, they're not just doing a job, they're truly committing their entire life to saving lives. One of our other patient advocates, Francis Sardana, whose family has Huntington's disease, realizes we may not be able to save our children, but let's work towards saving our grandchildren. I have learned that if you come up with one thing, it trickles through this neuroscience community and gives birth to other ideas. More people to support an idea, it grows, it's exponential. That's how science makes the biggest jumps forward, and that's one of the most exciting things about, about being right here, right now. 
20 years from now, you will not understand how medicine was ever practiced. Please stand with us. We're all in this together. Each voice counts. Each dollar counts. Each day, we get one step closer. For the millions of lives at stake, it's a race against the clock. That's why we need to have the vision and the courage to invest aggressively now and build on the momentum that's already picking up steam. This is our moment. This is our moment. Please support stem cell research. Support stem cell research. Please support stem cell research.